Liam. I am nine. I have a brother. Um, I have a heart. We all need different things. Some are wild beads. Some are for a different, like, um, tests. I think that it's over 100 beads. They're all different. They're all from different types of surgeries. There's one that when I was a baby I started. There. It's a bear. This is basically for the heart surgery. I think like a hospital and help other kids. Probably help them with like um, sicknesses or um, if they broke something. I'm Lindsay, I'm Liam's mom. We found out 10 years ago uh, when I was pregnant that uh, our boy was gonna be born with half a heart and uh, might not make it to his first birthday. So that was a lot to take in during our pregnancy. We uh, were lucky enough to be transferred to SickKids uh, right away, within a few days of our, our original diagnosis for confirmation, for some tests, and from there, there was a lot uh, that happened during the pregnancy following up. He had his first uh, heart surgery when he was a week old, and did really well, and we came home right away, and it was awesome, but uh, very quickly, uh, he became very unstable, and there was a lot of that first year, a lot of back and forth between sick kids and our home. We'd be here nine days, we'd go back for five weeks. Uh, he experienced a lot of setbacks. And so when he was about four months old, uh, we were airlifted to sick kids and it became evident that he would not make it uh, over the weekend. Um, so he had to have emergency heart surgery again. This was a 12 hour surgery to try and save his life. And um, that was probably the worst trip that we had that first, that first year. Uh, he went into cardiac arrest. He fought some deadly illnesses while at the hospital and uh, suffered three mini strokes. Um, but uh, we were able to come home and I remember the day that we brought him home, it felt a little surreal because we really just didn't think, there were so many moments that first year that we didn't think that we would ever bring him home alive. So after that, he was about two to three years with a lot of complications, a lot of setbacks and uh, just a lot more really wonky times where I had to lean on sick kids. Uh, there were a lot of trips and a lot of extra surgeries. So in total, he's had 12, 12 operations. He's been stable now for about four years, which is awesome. Good. Yeah, good enough to play soccer outside, good enough to run on the track with Mama. Mm -hmm. He keeps up with his grade four classmates, goes to soccer camp, does swimming and, and he's able to do all those things which we really in the beginning years and, and we just never thought we'd be able to have that. I stayed there for Halloween. Yeah. What happened on Halloween when we were um, there? They gave me that? a costume and candy because I missed Halloween. Yeah, he had to have a surgery, emergency surgery on Halloween day. And so he went around on, uh, on in November 1st uh, with his with his Superman costume and he was hooked up to an IV pole and uh, but we we got him out of bed and he was he was wandering around the, the hospital wing with uh, with his costume on so sick kids is amazing and they need the money to continue to, to develop their skills to continue to get the equipment and uh, yeah we'll just thank you to everyone who participates in, in supporting sick kids 12 surgeries later he's brave he's courageous he's strong and uh, it's pretty cool. He's pretty awesome. And it's all thanks to sick kids and, and their just their continuation of wanting to fight to, to give him life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you everyone.